Hello everyone, so today we're going to be covering Lab 5, an optical heart rate monitor that we did using MATLAB. My name is Steve and I'm here with Armando and Fabian. So this is a brief introduction of what the lab is. You can read over this on your own time, but I'll give you the introduction. So we are creating a heart rate monitor that is able to work from, the, from your camera on your computer. This is similar to what you have seen in Lab 4, where the computer is grabbing the RGB from your, from your face or your forehead to be exact. And now here we are calculating what the potential heart rate for that person can be when the video input is received. It was a little bit harder than the last lab since we had to do the math and the calculations to be able to figure out how to output the heart rate. The materials that were used in the lab were the same ones as lab four. We have the webcam on the computer, we have the image acquisition toolbox, which requires uh, the, the video input, and the laptop, which has the camera on it, and MATLAB. For the methods, basically the way the lab works is based on the blood in your body. So liquid in your body and the cells in your body absorb light. The more blood you have in a certain place, the more light it absorbs. Every time your heart beats, it pumps blood into your body. That way it absorbs more light. By measuring the amount of light that your part of your body absorbs or it has at the particular moment, we can see if it has more or less blood in it. And if, when we graph that intensity of the light that is absorbed and we calculate the spikes, basically we know the heartbeat of a person. So to do that, we started by creating a code in MATLAB, which will capture a video at 15 frames per second. Once that video is saved in our computers, we proceed to divide the video into independent frames in three different channels for RGB colors, red, green, and blue, and we apply the filters to them. After that, the code will calculate the average intensity of the light in each of those three channels and in a designated region of interest. In this particular case, it was the forehead, since the video was a picture or a video over, over face. Uh, after that, we can count the spikes in the intensity of the graph and calculate the heart rate of the person in the video. So this is basically an example of what it looks like. Um, if you can see, the top one will be the intensity of the red channel, the middle one, the intensity of the green channel, and the bottom one, the intensity of the blue channel. Our device is not the highest, uh, let's say, high tech or anything like that. There is possibility for mistakes, but it will give us a good range and a good average of what the heartbeat could be. I'm going to stop sharing the PowerPoint for a second to show how the code works. The reason why I had to do that is because I have to turn off my camera in order to make the image acquisition toolbox work. So we click on run and we can see that the video has been captured and with a certain region of interest. Here is the pictures of the three channels with the three different regions of interest as labeled on the top. So once those videos is it's completely taken and everything is done, we will proceed to, or the program itself will proceed to calculate that intensity. It takes a little bit, it takes about 10 seconds. It's the length of the video. Yeah, we have to just wait a little bit. It's just that computer is probably running a lot of programs in MATLAB, maybe it takes a little bit longer. Um, but all in all, it's working. Just let's give it a minute. Uh, while that goes, I could just, all right, you got it. Oh, there we go. There we go. So now it's calculating the intensity, um, of each of the individual frames. Uh, we set it to be 100 frames. Um, so we could do a little bit more. We could do a little bit less. We could do less than 100. We could do more than 100. It depends. Um, in this particular case, the total of the video will be 150. We only took the first 100, which accounts to about 6.7 seconds. And then we calculate every single spike. We multiply those spikes by 6.7 seconds. Uh, and we basically uh, divided, I'm sorry, by 6.7 seconds. And we know the heart rate per second. Then we multiply that times 60. We know the heart rate per minute or the amount of heartbeats that we have in a minute. Uh, so I'm going to take it to Fabian now. And he will continue with our presentation. Uh, overall, this lab went well. We're effective. We're able to effectively calculate the heart rate as well as save the video to the computers. We had some difficulties at first, but 
it was overall successful, we're able to overcome it. In conclusion, this lab was a bit more challenging than the previous labs, um, including the last lab, which was also very similar to this one. In this lab, the team had to find out how to be able to make the program calculate the heart rate from the RGB scales. Um, this has been it. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, thank you.